for me, the most important implication, and, and it has been, I mean, very profound in terms not only of the knowledge by itself, but also because of the reflections. I come from a very traditional type of school. I was a management consultant, MBA, tech executive. And three or four years ago, I veered into education in a more entrepreneurial route. So the world has changed completely to me. And acknowledging that there are different types of capital removes a little bit of the intellectual barriers you might have because acknowledging that you might be able to drive student engagement or teacher engagement and parent engagements, one type of capital that could be leveraged upon whatever new investments and whatever new ventures we try to, to, to implement. And the second point is that uh, time can have a lot of upside and we do not take that upside into consideration because the future is full of possibilities. But since we look uh, at capital just on the financial standpoint and the specific time returns on that financial standpoint, we become kind of a short-sighted or blind. And blind because of that particular restriction of perception, but blind because we are also addicted to averages. For instance, if I look at the, 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 the academic performance of our students, which is a critical factor in retaining those students over the longer term, there are wild differences across all, of our portfolio. And we have physical units in three cities in Brazil. Not, not, we're not that widespread. And nevertheless, if you look with the zoom, with the microscope, look at the behavior of each individual student, there are wild variations that the average do not take uh, into account. So this is extremely powerful. And we are also short-sighted or blind by our incapacity in taking the possibility of the future into consideration. If we go to a field that is uncertain and changing and full of possibilities, but there is no clear recipe in the short term, and education is a very good example of that, it is also a place in which the future has many doors to be open, many possibilities to be open, also to leverage those different types of capital that in some time you might transition into financial capital. And that's why we're also blind. I remember the times when I was a consultant, everything that looked beyond two years was an intellectual exercise that many of the executives kind of turn a blind eye on. So it's been eye open in this case. And as I told you, uh, once you look at that, there is no way to unlearn. Uh, when I was at Amazon, even for things that are very common, seller engagement or seller selection or commercial performance, even a certain type of seller selection in the marketplace. I could understand why we could sell mobile phones from Chinese manufacturers so well. On the other hand, T-shirts and lower price items, we couldn't do it at all. Once you take the averages out and you go into the details, there's a whole new reality that unfolds. So these were the things that um, once I started discussing with you guys have been fundamental in making me look at reality from a completely different standpoint.